Alright, so this is the first problem. We have a function given here. f of x equals the square root of x plus 5x plus 1. All that divided by the square root of x. They're asking us to find f prime, sorry. f prime of x. Alright, so we can go ahead and approach this in many different ways. You guys know the quotient rule. You also know the product rule. But I can, I'm going to go ahead and approach this differently. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go and break this up into this. So I'm going ahead and breaking the fraction into three different fractions. Okay, so there's our new function here. And now we want to go ahead and take the derivative of this function, which is the same thing as taking the derivative of this function. But we do know that if we, have the, if we can take the derivative of this whole function, we can just take the derivative of this part, then add it to the derivative of this part, and then add it to the derivative of this part. So now we have f prime x. Okay, this can cancel out. The square root of x divided by the square root of x is just 1. So the derivative of 1 is 0. Okay, here, actually let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's keep simplifying first. And then at the end we'll go ahead and do the derivative. So like we said, this is 1. This right here we have 5x. The square root of x can also be denoted as x to the 1 half. And this one, we can go ahead, this is x to the 1 half, but we can bring it to the top. So we have x to the negative 1 half. Okay, let's go ahead and keep simplifying this before we even do any derivatives. That's still 1. We have x to the 1 here, so we go ahead and subtract. x to the 1 divided by x to the uh, 1 half, we subtract the exponents. So what do we get? We get 1 minus 1 half is 1, or sorry, 1 half. So we're left with 5x to the 1 half on the top, and that's gone. So we have that. Plus x to the negative 1 half. Okay, now we're going to go ahead, we already simplify this function into this, now into this, into this, and now we're going to go ahead and take the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of 1 is 0. Okay, the derivative of x to the 1 half, just bring the 1 half down. So we have 5 divided by 2 now, x, x to the 1 half minus 1, because we know if we have f of x equals x to the n, f prime of x is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So we're going to go ahead and apply that rule here, brought the 1 half down, multiplied that by 5, now 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Okay? Plus, apply the rule here as well, you get minus 1 half times x, minus 1 half minus 1 is minus 3 halves. Okay? So we just, the calculus part was just this part right here. Now we're going to go ahead and do some algebra. So we come here, 0, 0, so that's done. I'm going to go ahead and bring x to the negative 1 half down. So now we have f prime of x is equal to 5 divided by 2, the square root of x. Brought the x to the 1 half down. And then you have x to the 1 half, but that's the same thing as saying square root of x. Okay? And now, minus plus, minus times plus is minus. So you have minus. We have x to the negative 3 halves on the top. We can bring that down. So, we have 1 over 2. x to the 3 halves. Okay? And I'll further simplify this. Let's see, we want to combine these two fractions into one fraction. So what can we do? We have 2 square root of x, 2 square, square root of x cubed. So we need to multiply this guy by x squared. Sorry, uh, square root of x squared. So let's go ahead and let's erase this. Get some space here. 
case, I gotta multiply this one by square root of x squared, square root of x squared, so I can get square root of x cubed, like I have here. Prime. So now I have five. Square root of x squared is just x. Here I get two x cubed minus one over two square root of x cubed. F prime of x is now five x minus one. Just go ahead and subtract the top, divided by two x cubed. And now I can take an x out and my final answer Okay, so I approach this problem by go ahead and uh, taking this fraction and splitting it up into three fractions. Then I went ahead and did some algebra. The calculus wasn't done until this part. So I did some algebra, reduced this. I went ahead and expressed this as x to the one half as exponent form. And then I went ahead, expressed the exponent form and moved it up. So I got this to the negative one half. I still did some algebra, so that's one. I went ahead and subtracted these two, got one half. That stayed the same. Now I went ahead and did the calculus part. Take the derivative of each term. So the derivative of one, zero. The derivative of this guy, bring down the one half. So you got five, five halves, x to the negative one half, plus brought the negative one half down, obtained that, and then negative one half minus one, negative three halves. Then I came over here, we did, we did some more algebra, found the LCD, in order to combine the two fractions, we obtained this, and then we went ahead and subtracted the numerator, and we obtained that.